Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Omar Chongan, and for today's video, what I wanted to bring you guys is the topic of HIT, high intense interval training. So, I know some of you guys have been uh, throughout Ramadan, have been working out, trying to either maintain your weight or lose weight during the process, but is it safe for you to do a HIT? In my opinion, I would say no. The reason because is that a lot of people I've seen on Instagram or YouTube, they're doing, they're doing it wrong. So what they're doing is they're pretty much doing like a 30 second stuff and it's like it's actually a low intense workout that they're doing. It's not even high intense at all. When you're doing a high intense, what is actually happening to your body is you're shocking the system to a point that you can barely breathe. I'm talking about you're playing either a high, like professional athletes, those people are doing high tense. You know, people that are maybe doing power lifting that is like... Um, you're 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 using everything that you have to your maximum if we're speaking by numbers we're talking about 90 percent okay so you should be going at least 90 percent when you're doing a hit not going 50 percent and say oh it's a hit that's not a hit okay if you're doing a hit workout you have to be all in and if you're doing ramadan and you're doing and you're doing a hit chances are that you might either throw up and if you do throw up your fasting is done all right so avoid it do not do a hit just maintain. So, I, I see this question people were asking me, but it's like, no, it's, it's not safe. In my opinion, do not do a hit because it's not going to be something that is helpful. So, what should you do instead? What you should do is a low intense workout, okay? So, you want to do something that is just shy away from sweating instead of trying to actually break yourself. So, this so how intense should you go? You should go a low intense. So, something like I, I would say, anywhere from 50% to uh, shy away from 70%. This is just so that your body can be shy away from actually sweating, okay? So you're not doing cardio, like a full crazy cardio during this Ramadan. All you wanna do is just do something that is can actually just keep you in shape while we finish up the 15 days that is remaining. So let's say you're not losing weight. Some of you might probably try to lose weight. You think uh, Ramadan was a great opportunity for you to eat less food. And because you're not eating a lot of food during the day that you would lose weight. And then now you find yourself that you're not losing any weight. So what is happening is that you probably taking in uh, a higher surplus. So basically whatever you used, to, you used to eat in your previous days before Ramadan started, you're actually doubling that or you're actually eating the same amount after you fast. You don't notice it because you're like, oh, um, I'm hungry, so I, I, you just ate as much. What is actually happening in reality is that you're making your body getting a lot fatter. So taking in more calories, which is called the surplus, is gonna actually make you bigger. It's not gonna help you lose weight. Even if it's on Ramadan, if you're eating a lot of food or a lot of calories in a short amount of time, it's gonna make the same effect as it would if you were to be eating all day long and other months that is not in Ramadan. So what I would say is watch your calories if you want to. So watch your calories, but the best way to do it is make sure you have uh, better food choices and also uh, taking in food that is in low calories instead of high calories because what is, gonna, what is that gonna do is gonna benefit you from, uh, it's gonna help you lose weight instead of helping you gain weight or just so if you're not losing weight, there's a high chance that your surplus is so high. What you should do is make better food choices. So instead of making, uh, eating stuff that you're craving, just eat what your body needs instead of trying to add in extra food. Because what happened is that extra food becomes extra calories in your body and the rest, most of it is going to store as fat. And then guess what? You're not going to be losing weight. You might even be gaining weight or you might be just staying where you're at and then, and then you're wondering why you're not losing weight. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what time you eat or uh, how much you it's, it's all It all matters on how much you eat. So basically, what you need to do is just uh, reduce the amount of food you're eating or watch your calories or uh, make better food choices. Until then, I don't know, you should uh, just try, trial and error to see what works for you. All right, that's it for me today. If you like that, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, please. All right? Help the channel grow. And until next time, I'll see you guys tomorrow. 